Hey everybody, it's the Catholic Talk Show. We've got Jordan from Ave Rosary. We're going to be talking about some pretty exciting products they have. That's right. Ave Rosary is a unique apostolate that provides handmade heirloom quality rosaries to people and also has the benefit of whenever you buy a rosary from them, they give one to somebody poor or in need. I just received a phone call just a few moments ago. Somebody's uh, girlfriend's mother passed away and they're looking for really a, a, a care package and there's bundles on there with books and devotionals that, that are just so helpful to me as a priest because I can access them and, and direct some people to be able to pastorally care for difficult situations or needs to grow in your devotional life. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to hear about some of your products, Jordan. I cool. see you have a bunch of bags here. Yeah. Yeah. Listening to you talk about your products is really cool. And the intentionality that goes yeah. behind designing and the design yeah. choices and how it it shows it, it, it calls yeah. forth the spirituality of the intended product mm -hmm. or of the intended devotional. Because you, you make do you make these rosaries? So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Not all rosaries or chaplets on the website are handmade, but we have started to move in that direction. Wow. We found that to stick true to our roots where we want to create heirloom bespoke rosaries that'll mm -hmm. last from generation to generation and are unique um, we wanted to move in that direction mm -hmm. there's nothing more bespoke or hand you know or heirloom than handmade right mm -hmm. and um, so we took some cues from what was going on with other rosary makers uh, who are making their own rosaries and thought you know what let's start launching our own line of handmade rosaries and chaplets and see what happens mm -hmm. and it's been great so far mm -hmm. you know this past month we they definitely were in the, in the top products that we were able to to give to people, and um, I brought a collection of a few different items that I just wanted to unpack and show you guys. Well, let's, let's uh, see. Let's let's open these all up. Right, cool. First so, and foremost, like the bag is kind of cool yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So we put them in a, a nice burlap bag. We figured that a nice rosary deserves more than a plastic bag. To mm -hmm. go yeah. In, so, yeah. That's cool. But we also have these really attractive handmade leather pouches that are are great for most size mm -hmm. rosaries, mm -hmm. and we have a, a guy who we partner with who's here in the U.S. that makes these for us. And this right here will last a lifetime. Yeah, the packaging's just awesome. Oh, yeah, that's nice. What is that leather? Yeah, because I, I, you know what? what? I can't tell you how many rosaries I've broken by putting them in my pocket. Yeah. And they pull them out, and they get snagged, and they break. You know, um, I'm kind of an offender of not having a nice rosary pouch. Right. That one fits nice in the pocket. I've used it when I travel on airplanes and things like that. Mm -hmm. You can pull out your rosary and... Say a decade or two while you're on the plane. So what's yeah. this that was inside These of here? These are amazing. It's so like heavy and yeah, it's really cool. So what you guys have here is our Saint Therese of Lisieux chaplet. Uh, this is something Hold that, that up we so made. Hold that up so we can see it, right? Um, in time oh. for Lent, uh, it's also called sacrifice beads. So as the story goes, Saint Therese would use a string of beads like this to count her little ways that she was uh, making sacrifices. Oh, that's beautiful. And so this is a, a great way to kind of. Lent's a season to make sacrifices, to be mm -hmm. penitential, and so this is a way that you can track those sacrifices throughout each day. It's The metal has an image of St. Therese on the end, and it's made out of solid Beautiful. bronze. The crucifix is also made out of solid bronze, and each of the beads are a rose quartz, right? So you know, Dude, I just had my 19th anniversary, which is the bronze anniversary, and I had a heck of a time finding anything made out of bronze. I'm going to buy this one there off you of you. There you go. You know, the uh, the medals that you've <coughs> chosen for this, too, I mean, they, they look great. You know, some of the, some of these devotional rosaries that, that you come across and, and that are mass-produced, it's like the medals are pretty cheap. Like, yeah. This, yeah. this is really neat. Yeah, there's something about the bronze that's just beautiful, and it's going to get more beautiful with age. Yeah. And as you hold it like and you put your hands across it. That's right, like Ryan. I mean, He's I was going to say that. I know we're talking about rosaries. He's getting more bronze, more beautiful That's with age. Right. <laughs> Throw in shade. <laughs> no, it's like the, the golf course bronzing, man. It's, you know. Uh, so you said rose quartz too, right? That's right, rose quartz beads. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, a lot of times it's like plastic beads or wood beads right. that are, you know, they're... Yeah, this is not your glow-in-the-dark rosary. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I have one of those, actually. Yes. <laughs> I found it wow. at an airport. Oh, man. And then I kept it with me in my guitar case, you know, and I, I have this glow-in-the-dark rosary. It's very cheap. Um, yeah, that's really nice. And yeah, I like the story pretty. of the little the little devotion, the mm -hmm. sacrifice of it. Or you could use it as a decade for the rosary as Correct. well. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. And what I love about it, it's almost like the um, St. Benedict medal, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it has all of these kind of Latin inscriptions and exorcism prayers and symbols and things like that on even the crucifix and just the stamping on this. You, you want to like analyze it and you want to look at it for a greater amount of time because there's just so much detail in, in everything here. And, and the way that your beads are interlocked too, it's very strong. Mm-hmm. 
So the force uh, is with yeah. you, Avi. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Um, I've got a few other things to share. So I, I know that, um, Sheil, you're a fan of the, the chalk key or yes. the Eastern Catholic prayer rope. So yeah. we have one of those as well. And this one I'm excited about. Um, oh, this is our Desert Father's Rosary. We'll look at that one first. Okay, let's um, do that. <laughs> so this is one we call the Desert Father's Rosary. Um, oh, I really yeah. like this one. Oh, it's, yeah. it's got like this rugged masculinity to it. Uh, again, a bronze crucifix. Mm -hmm. wow. um, the beads are really cool. So I, I personally really like wood bead rosaries. Yeah, yeah me too. Um, the, the rosary I've used. These don't feel like wood. No, but they are. They're petrified wood beads. So they, oh, they wow. have the feel of stone and they're heavy. But they have the wood grain and oh. the different wood colorings inside. This is so really that's nice. That's really cool. It, it, it's just one of the better too. feeling rosaries too that I've ever held. Yeah, it's, that's a good piece. It's got yeah, good balance. It's really neat. What's the what's the um, the rope that you use? Because that's really soft and like. Yeah, but it feels tough. Yeah. Sure, it's leather. It's a leather cord. Oh wow. Um, it's it's like an in. It's not. It's not a. a it feels almost suede. That's right. It's not yeah. a coated leather cord. It's a uh, a natural leather cord. Um, and we use that for, for that rosary as well as our chalky. So petrified, what, what exactly is that? Because like some of these beads, it's like it almost looks like marble. Yeah. So it's wood that is so old it's become stone. Wow. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know the exact species, but there are a different varieties as you can see because some of them are more brownish black, some are red, there's some whites like, in there. Like, look at that one. Well, so what petrified wood is, at least from my understanding, because I've been to the petrified forest. Really? Yeah, in the southwest. Were you petrified? I was. <laughs> but you, you would go to the petrified <laughs> forest. I, Did you yeah, find of course. any beads there? No, I didn't. I found the raw material, and that's how that these beads are sourced. No, but petrified wood is kind of stone. It used to be wood. Wood, but then over time, it's almost like how a fossil is created that, right. you know, different minerals replace the organic material. And in time, it becomes stone in the exact shape and form of the wood that used to be there, even to the cellular structure. So it's really attractive rosary. It's and one of the coolest rosaries I've ever seen. I Thanks. think so, too. Yeah, and, and th I think that, again, as we were getting ready for Lent and started putting some concepts together, this was one that... Um, just felt good. Uh, it felt deserty. Jesus yeah. going out into the desert. It's simple, it, but it's it's masculine. It's it's got that arid, stony feel, of the yeah. feel of the Judean desert, That's and then right. the Hematite, our Father. Right. You know, kind of that. I don't know, almost kind of, esoteric feeling. You know, yeah. stone. What kind of bead is this here? So that's a hematite bead. Hematite. Yep, it's got a uh, mm. metallic quality to it. That's really cool. That feels great. Yeah, that's a nice rosary. Thanks. Um, so yeah, that so that's called the that's, that's called the Desert, Desert Fathers, Fathers. and that's does right. that come with a prayer card? It does not. That no. one's just by itself. The uh, the Chalk Key has a prayer card. So Chalk Key Eastern Catholic Prayer Rope, which I am very much into. Right. Yeah. Um, you say the Jesus Prayer over and over again. It's a very meditative thing. I, from what I've heard, the Chalk Key is to the Eastern Church what the the Rosary is to the Western Church. Absolutely. Right? So this is something that that since we put it up on the shop has become more and more popular. We sell a lot of these. Um, and it's just, this is our 50 bead version mm -hmm. and you would just go through and, and pray the Jesus prayer 50 times. Oh, perfect cool. for meditation. I would say that in my prayer life, that the Jesus prayer has become more common for me than even mm -hmm. the rosary. Mm -hmm. This, this well, really this has... one is, is for you. You need to take that one. Okay. What's that this one, one? Really special cool. for you? You made this one for me. I did. Actually. Now, oh, so, so this is a hundred bead shot key. That's amazing. Wow, that's Desert Fathers for sure there. I mean, even the color tones really look like the desert. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you got the uh, Byzantine cross here. That's right. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's phenomenal. And there's a little look bit of, uh, of room between the beads so that you can slide the beads as you pray. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's one of the things that I always, with my chat key, typically they're made out of rope. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of tied so tight you can't really differentiate bead right. you know uh this is great thank you yeah absolutely mm -hmm. um where's mine uh, so <laughs> now, you can so, have the 50 beads uh, i want the desert father's rosary there you go so this this is very interesting and i was surprised when you told me about this but there there are rosary hangers now and like i i never i never had one in my house or and but as i start thinking about these these quality rosaries and where to put them obviously the pouches but you guys make these like really elegant rosary hangers that can go in your house and my wife put one up from you guys and it just looks beautiful mm -hmm. on a wall mm -hmm. and and it's just very elegant it's around an icon of the holy family that we have in our dining room um 
And yeah, so talk a little bit yeah. more about that and like what made sure. you guys think even to, to start doing this. Is yeah, that- so this is the, this is our Sacred Heart Rosary Hanger. This is right now our best seller on the shop. Um, and the idea is to have a place to keep your rosaries safe so they don't get tangled. Yeah. But I think even, even more, it allows you to have those rosaries on display so that you're more inclined to pray, right? Yeah, you know, kind of, it's in sight. So you don't see it, you're yeah. not gonna do it as much. Um, yeah. But you can stack several rosaries on there on the on the sides, yeah. and um, it's just a great way to also say like this this home is Catholic, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. great for your kids to see it to really incorporate. Yeah. I think yeah. having religious art in the in the home is it a very important part of you know enculturating the Catholicity into your family. You know, if they don't see it, they don't hear it. How important is it? But that's you know, why ha- I'm so amazed that I mean, like, just the idea of. Um, rosary hangers to me is just mm-hmm. it's very profound. That's a really cool. Well, idea. and we wanted can to we, serve. Can we buy this too. one off of you? <laughs> you can we have it. Put it on a, yeah, we need to put, put it on, put it on our wall. Yeah, well, I want to put it back awesome. here, you know, yeah, and have yeah. our rosaries. And, and, you know, another thought too is that we know that a lot of people have rosaries that they already are very close with or that's mm-hmm. very dear sure. to them. And Like your grandma's rosary right. or one you not, got. We're like, not asking you to, to put that one aside and, and get a new one if you don't need one, but we do know that people need other rosary accessories. And this is one that's really risen to the top is as a uh, popular item and a lot well, it's of beautiful. found useful. Yeah, it is. You know, it's kind of so got like that? an oil rub bronze mm-hmm. look to it. Yeah, it's got nice uh, etching mm-hmm. in the in the um, in the heart. You know, we have beautiful. a. Uh, I didn't bring one with me, um, but we do also have a, a handmade wooden rosary hanger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, three, four, and six peg, mm. and different brass pegs on there. Different species of wood. We have darker woods and lighter woods. So if you're more inclined to to that kind of look and this is all under Abe rosary if you go to the handmade section Correct. you'll see all of this stuff that we're talking about yeah now you can look for other stuff too you know they have all sorts of things they have men's rosaries women's rosaries great bundles when when the person you talked about who had the grandmother pass away right. you know you have the our lady of sorrows bundle which will be an our lady of sorrows uh chaplet right. prayer card a book on dealing with suffering by peter craved like there's a lot of thought put into the curation of not just the materials that make up these rosaries, but the uh, the ephemera that goes with them, that how to really use a rosary. Because a lot of times a rosary is just almost like a piece of jewelry. You get it, you put it in a box, and that's it. But this is kind of meant to really uh, ingrain both beauty and usage mm-hmm. out of these rosaries. Yep. And, you know, just holding holding them, you know, there's, there's such amazing. a... Yeah. Yeah. I really, I really, I love this petrified wood. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Lot. Uh, it's it's fun putting them together. I mean, it, it certainly takes some effort, mm-hmm. um, but I've really enjoyed the practice of making a rosary. Yeah. It's very meditative. Mm-hmm. It's a good time for prayer or just thought. Um, I'm, I'm a restless person, like to have my hands busy doing mm-hmm. something. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm compelled to make things, mm. and this is a really good outlet for me. You're so talented, Jordan. Um, this well, is thanks. awesome. Yeah, idle hands are the tools of the devil. Yeah, so you know, are the tools to make. That's rosaries. right. Well, they're not <laughs> idle. Well, if you're making rosaries, they're not idle. That's right. We're just uh, preaching to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, we're going to have to design the church when we when we build out our church here at St. John Paul II with some of your uh, your rosary hangers because we we have a rosary ministry and they're tying rope rosaries. Awesome. Uh, you know what nice. we should do? We should collaborate on a Catholic talk show rosary. I was thinking the same thing. That would yeah, be that awesome. Excellent idea. You know, we can make that for our patrons. Yeah. Um, Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. great idea. I don't know who else I'd rather work with than mm-hmm. Jordan. <laughs> That's the I mean, truth. Definitely more than with Howard, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Howard's Poor would just Howie. be a bunch of fish hooks. <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> um, but, you know, you also have some other cool things. Like, we did a video on the Unbreakable Rosary, the yep. Paracord Rosary. Mm-hmm. We still have people asking us about that. I don't know. We a lot of people went and got that from yep. Ave Rosary, which is a really useful one mm-hmm. because, like I said, I've broken a ton of rosaries. Sure. You know, the one the one that I liked the most was like the battlefield, like Saint Michael the yeah. Archangel, yep. and and uh, especially like my cousin's a cop. I want to get him. I want to get him that one. And uh, a few yeah. of my cousins are cops. Yeah, we've got plans for several more chaplets to be coming out over the next few months. Yeah. Um, the next one that we're working on is a St. Michael chaplet. We found some sapphire nice. blue quartz beads that we're going to be putting one of those together. So I'm really excited in the direction it's going, and the feedback we're getting from customers is super positive, and everybody's pumped about it. So, Fabulous. Yeah. So if you go to AveRosary.com, you can save 10% off on your first order, correct? Right, but we've set up a promo code for you guys. Oh. Talk. For fifteen percent off. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's 
That's pretty cool. That's 15. Yeah, you know man. There you go. That's 50% Talk 15% better than 10. 15% off. There you go. All right. So if you go to aberoser.com and use the promo code TALK, save 15% on all of these beautiful, handmade, bespoke, heirloom quality rosaries. Uh, these are beautiful. I We are definitely hanging this up yeah, this right here cool. immediately after this episode, and we'll hang our rosaries. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's great collaborating with you. And I really love the fact that not only you're making these beautiful rosaries that are befitting of the prayers of the rosary mm-hmm. and the promises they contain, but that you're also remembering that every time you sell one, you give one away. Right. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we've, most of us who started Ave Rosary have felt that some of the most powerful rosaries we've received have been given as gifts, right? Mm-hmm. There's just something about that. Um, and so we wanted to make the rosaries on the shop giftable, but also actually do that mm-hmm. um, and give one to someone in need, right? Like the, the overall mission is to make sure that the rosary is being prayed more often by more people. Um, and we don't have the ability to get out in front of people who might need the rosary. So we've partnered with the CFRs to up in the Bronx to help us get that out there. So we send them shipments of rosaries throughout the year, and then they give them out to people that they meet in their ministry. And it's That's like, awesome. Great. And the CFRs are out there on the streets doing the real thing. They're meeting yeah. the, you know, the, the cast outs, the people who are forgotten in the streets, you know, the people who really need that spiritual I, care. I have my conversion through their ministry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Was it a youth 2000 that, that you attended? Youth 2000? No, it was a uh, young adult. Oh, the the when Father Gabriel. That's right. Got you. Yeah. Young adult. Yeah, shout out. The, they're friars. They're in the Franciscan line, the fam- Franciscan family, and uh, some very dear friends up there uh, with the CFRs. Yeah, and yeah. then there's also some beautiful women's rosaries. Some, you know, like I think there's like a blush pearl one is yeah. amazing. There's um, the Job's Tear Rosary. Yeah. I think it's so cool. We've talked about that right. one in the past. There's so many interesting rosaries that, you know, it helps you just make sure that this rosary is something really integral to your life and your everyday prayer life. So, um, and then thank you for the chatki because I don't think there's enough of those being made. Yeah. Not enough people know about that. And certainly, I've never seen one this beautiful. Yeah. So this is really this is maybe, awesome. Thank maybe you. Maybe too, if some of our listeners have, have ideas for rosaries too. Yeah, that would be great. Totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. To, to reach out. Yeah. So again, go to averosary.com. Use the code talk to save fifteen percent now. Uh, Jordan, thank you for all of this stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, we really appreciate it. We really love these things, and we're going to display them proudly and prayerfully. Awesome. Thank yeah, you guys. Man. Beautiful, Jordan. Averosary.com. Check it out.